Good evening to you. Hundreds of homes and businesses in Lexington have been without power for hours, all because of a crash. And right now, Kentucky utilities workers are still working to restore electricity. Police say the crash caused a car to flip and hit part of a utility pole on South Broadway near Pine Street. Monique Blair talked to some people who live in that area. She's live now with the breaking details. Monique? Yes, yeah, Sam and Amber, KU says about 450 people are without power right now in this vicinity, and they say they will likely be without power for several hours. And that's because if you take a look behind me at this electric pole, you can see it is snapped. So crews have to install a new one, which on average takes about four hours. Oh, gosh, it was, it was very scary because this actually is the second wreck in this spot within the last two weeks. Lexington police say around 8.30 Tuesday night, a van was turning from Pine Street onto South Broadway when it failed to yield to a stop sign, moving into the path of this SUV, causing the SUV to run into this power line and then flip onto its side. I saw um, a man, I didn't see him get out of the car. I saw him fall back on the ground, looked scared. He didn't look hurt or anything, but he did look very very shaken, shaken up. Police say luckily nobody was hurt, but the driver of the van was arrested on suspicion of drunk driving. Police say the outbound lanes of South Broadway will be shut down for several hours, and the inbound lanes are going to continue to be open to only one lane for several hours. Now again, about 450 people are currently without power due to this accident. A KU spokesperson says they are trying to get power to the people who are further away from this location, but likely most of the people who live within this vicinity will be without power for several hours until they do get a new pole installed here, which I'm told will likely not be until the middle of tonight. Reporting live in Lexington, Monique Blair, WKYT.